What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I'm going over my top 10 Cydia tweaks that works with iOS 8 so far. So this is my iPhone 6 right here, recently jailbroken, the links to the jailbreak video will be in the description below and I'm going to go over my top 10 tweaks that is compatible with iOS 8. So I'm not going to go into too much depth in the tweaks because most of you guys probably heard about them already and if you didn't hear, hear about them just go on to see it, download it and you can play with it. But I'm going to basically show you the, what the tweet does and tell you the 10 tweaks that I think is worth mentioning in this video. I might make more video as soon as more tweaks get compatible after the, the creators update the tweaks for iOS 8. I'll probably make more videos. This is probably, I've already made one, the part 5 video. Links to that in the description. And yeah, so let's get let's get started. So the first one is called Simple Lock. Simple Lock basically gets rid of the text from down here, the slide to unlock text. So there's no slide to unlock text at the bottom of the screen right there. So yeah, the first one is called Simple Lock, and then the second one is called Subtle Lock, Subtle Lock. So basically, you see that the lock screen looks different. You got the the time in the corner up here, and you got the date and the day, basically the month and the day, right up there. So that's Subtle Lock, guys. So the first one was Simple Lock, and then Subtle Lock, all on the lock screen. And then the third one is called Sleek Lock. So if I slide over there, you see that it, there's no ring around the numbers anymore, and it's just clean. You could see the wallpaper in the background, and it just looks way better than the stock iOS 8 or 7 um, unlock tray. So yeah, just, I could just enter my code, whatever the code is, and it'll go right in, or use your fingerprint, which I do. So yeah, the third one is called Sleek Lock. And then the fourth one, guys, is called SB Flip. What SB Flip does is basically flips your springboard just like that. On the iPhone 6 Plus, you could do that automatically. And if you want to do it on the iPhone 6 or any other device, you're going to download SB Flip just like that. And this works right around too, guys. Yeah, so that one is called SB Flip. And then the fifth one is called Glow Dock. If you look down at the icons in my dock right here, you can see they're all glowing. So that's done with Glow Dock. So just download it from Cydia and you'll be good to go. Okay, guys, so the sixth one is called X Key. And what X Key does is basically adds an extra row of keys to your keyboard. You see right up top, right up there, I have all numbers. So I don't have to hit the numbers. And I can just type whatever I want to do and just hit the the numbers right up top. So that one is called X key and then the seventh one is called CC background. CC background is basically control center background. So when I slide up from a control center you can see the background is different. I actually have a like a wallpaper in there of a car. I mean so that one is called CC background guys. I could just go into settings scroll down to my preferences CC background select any image that I want from my camera roll hit done and then that image will be in my control center right there so the next one is called convo pick and what convo pick does is basically show you the contact of whoever you're texting in your message so right there right next to the name of the person you could see their contact picture if you ha if you have a contact picture usually this is only an iPhone 6 plus but with jailbreak we could we could add that so that one is called convo pick and then the number ninth one is called um by the font by the font is basically this if you look at my keyboard you see the keyboard the, the text looks a little bit different so that one is called by the font guys even if you look at the the words below i mean the name of the apps you guys can see that it looks a lot different it's like a different font so that one is called by the font and the font that i'm actually using is called kg keep your head up it's called KG Keep Your Head Up, guys. So that's how I switch up my font. So even if I go to, let's go to Twitter. Even the text there looks a little bit different. You know what I mean? So that one is called By the Font. And the, the, the text, I mean the font that I'm using is called KG Keep Your Head Up. And the last and final one is called BioProtect. BioProtect is basically my favorite security tweak. In fact, I'm going to make a separate video showing you guys in depth 
about this but what this does is basically if you got a phone iPhone 5s iPhone 6 or iPhone 6 plus you could use your thumbprint or your touch ID to lock certain apps so if I got my message locked tap on that I only can open it with my fingerprint even if I go to turn my phone off I won't be able to turn my phone off until I use my fingerprint so if somebody steals your phone and they're trying to turn it off so you can't track it they can't really turn it off until you use your fingerprint and you could lock any app let's go in the settings show you guys a little bit more where is it at there it is so we're gonna have our fingerprint to get in focus a little bit okay so these are the settings you can enable it error on vibrate so if the fingerprint is wrong it will vibrate and lock session we could remember all that passcode option all that touch ID and then it right down here you could choose any app that you want to lock any app that you want to lock you could even choose folders so these are the extra um, for, we could lock our switcher, everything like we could lock our SIM, app switcher, Siri. I mean the icon arrangement. So if you set up your phone and you don't want any, nobody else going there and arranging them some separate way, you could lock that too. See, that's that power power off protection. That's the one that you could only lock, turn off your phone when you get your when you use your fingerprint. The folder you could choose which folder you want to lock. So I got my finance folder right here. Basically has all my my bank apps and anything I do with money I mean I have that I have that locked so, so but somebody nobody can go in there so let's exit out that's the finance one it won't open until I use my thumbprint so that's my favorite right there guys um, BioProtect and the links to if I made any separate video more in depth the links to those will be in the description below it's Prince with ATP 101 rate comment and definitely subscribe for more videos like this yeah. Peace.